Magic Strike, and this is a package I've been looking forward to for legitimately months. So, there's a guy out in New Zealand who goes by Biggs New Zealand. Biggs S N Z. So it's Biggs New Zealand, and he is the next caster of parts in our hobby. Now, cast parts are really, really cool. They're almost essential in tier zero builds like Hydra. They allow you to make these translucent pieces in any color that you want and then shine light through them. They also just give you a litany of options in terms of colors for pieces that you don't want to paint. Things like triggers, things like rev switches, things even like bandolier attachment points where you constantly have things going on and off. That is what these do. Now before this, the only place to get them was Black Steel Props and he was the best at it and also the only person doing it. But that is all about to change. I have been watching Biggs work on these on his Instagram actually for months as he slowly, almost a year now, and he's slowly been getting better and better. He's developed a pressurized system so that there are no bubbles and it's finally time to get them in hand, take a look at them and see what kind of quality we're actually working with when they're not just in front of an Instagram camera. So first off, I do wanna just, before I even open this, give a huge thank you to Biggs because he's been a Patreon supporter of mine for a little while now. That is such a huge deal to me and I did the conversion. Just shipping this package here from New Zealand to the USA cost him the rough equivalent of 40 United States dollars. That is a ton of money. I have a lot of just appreciation for that. But we've got Kiwi stickers on the box, an I Heart New Zealand sticker, there's an owl sticker. It's probably another Kiwi, now that I'm thinking about it. But I see owls everywhere I go. And a uh, New Zealand flag. So let's open this up and see what we have inside. So a very, ooh, check out that logo. This is, I think, just an insert. And it says, thank you for this purchase. And then inside it says premium. This is his logo. We ran a contest. It's a great logo because it's resin casting and nerfy. It's got a very 90s feel. And then I can't tell you what my coupon code is, but I have a coupon. I'll tell you. Yeah, why not? Uh, the coupon code for my order is something that he's told me before on Patreon and it's really cool. It's all caps. It says live the dream. So like that's what we all want to do, right? We just want to make great things. And then inside something called Creamy Milk Whitaker's Slab of Chocolate Bar. And there's a few of these. This one's a peanut slab, this one's a nougat, an almond, and another milk one. This is a heavy, solid chocolate bar. So that is, ah, he sent a kiwi. Check it out guys, it's a kiwi bird. So the kiwi can actually hang out with my Scotland Highland cow. This is from a fan of mine named Kara in uh, Scotland, and then now there's a Kiwi to hang out with it. So I'm gradually collecting these uh, international plushes from friends, and these parts are gorgeous, guys. Wow. Okay, so everything is individually wrapped, which is really neat in and of itself, but he's doing, ooh, and there's uh, you can purchase these inserts from them. That's always an issue that I've had, is I have to cut these myself out of worker barrel, but they bridge from an aftermarket cage to the, the muzzle itself. But the quality here, I'm holding it up to my light box right now, so you guys are gonna have a harder time seeing this than I am. But there's zero bubbles and honestly, zero flaws. Now he has assured me in messages that this is just the quality that he ships everything at. This is not, and I feel it's necessary to acknowledge that, this is not like a Drac special, like I sent you the best things that I possibly had lying around. Like he sent me just, flawless parts because that's what he ships. So these are uh, containment crew actual casts. These are containment crew's low profile uh, battery door for the Strife. And these look really, really good. In fact, let's take, I have a shell here that I prepped for a project that's upcoming and we can test some of these parts. So the, the box just has a bunch of good stuff in it. And I'll go ahead and pull all of those out. So we've got, a bunch of different color options and he has, truth be told, just a ton of different color options. He also sent some very special parts for a build that's codenamed Leviathan right now. 
but that is excellent fit and finish. That's not going anywhere. And it's so clear, so free of flaws that you can actually see inside there. Like if I took some stuff and put it in, I don't have anything that I could realistically put in there, but you could read the Duracell logo through this battery door. Now he also is casting some of the containment, uh, the shoot, the foam blast part. So he has casts of their uh, Bobololo style rev trigger. So if we come in here, you guys should be able to check that out. We can just set that into the stripe shell. And again, what immaculate fit and finish. And since it's resin cast, it's actually stronger than the printed versions of the same thing. Then he's got similarly the foam blast rev uh, magazine release down here and just really, really good looking parts. Like these front ends are incredible. And then like, I don't wanna to draw too many comparisons because Ben is the first mover in this space and I'm friends with Ben and he's been doing it for a long time. But I can already tell you that these are higher quality casts in terms of their aesthetics. And this is my favorite part. If you look at, and I brought some of these out so that I'd be able to compare and I'm glad that the point can be made. If you look at a black steel props cast versus this one that's in the strife right now that just came out of this package, the difference in quality is they're both well cast for sure, but Biggs is trimming all of his parts. So you can see that's flush and ready to be installed in the, the strife. Whereas this has flash up here that you have to grind away. It's got flash inside here, here, and here. And then this is the big one that's kind of a pain. This stops you from putting a magazine in. And this one I only mentioned because I've forgotten in the past. I have built stripes where I'm like, man, why won't it take a magazine? And the answer is that this juts out into the mag well and stops you. So this one has not been finished because that's just how Hawkeye sends his stuff. He wants you to be able to finish it yourself. Whereas these have been flawlessly done such that all of those holes are completely clean. This is completely clean and there's nothing preventing a magazine from going in there. Like this would take a magazine immediately. Similarly, the trigger has no flash. It is just ready to go. Those holes are so crisp on these casts. It's remarkable. That looks like a Hasbro part. And again, the translucency is flawless. Like I could rave about these parts for a really long time, but the truth of the matter is that these are definitely like now the nicest resin cast pieces on the market, I think. Interestingly enough, they are less expensive than the, the black steel pop props counterparts and you can buy any piece individually. So whereas with, I think, with Ben's stuff, and if you custom message Ben, I'm sure that he'd accommodate you because he's accommodated me in the past. But with Black Steel Props, they're sold as bundles, and depending upon your integrations or what have you, you may not need the bundle entirely. Whereas with these, you can buy just the parts you need because he is still doing a very bespoke service. But these are the parts that will be going into Leviathan, and they are just the perfect color. This is going to be awesome. So I'm very excited to install some of these in the Leviathan. Obviously, I still have some of the uh, the parts from Black Steel Props that I need to use. There are definitely more Tier Zero Stripes coming, but right now I'm super burnt on Stripes in general. So the only Stripe that I'm working on right now is this Leviathan project that is very, very exciting. And now I should have all of the pieces outside of the vinyl logos that I need to complete it. So that is my review of these parts, it's also a huge thank you to Biggs. You can check him out on Instagram and his Etsy store in the description box below, but he's doing top shelf work right out of the gate. You don't need to trim it. It's just you pull the pieces out and it's like they came from a factory. They're just ready to install. The fact that he's also working with a bunch of other aftermarkets part suppliers to bring you things like custom magazine releases and custom rev triggers is just next levels like that is really really cool that he's doing all that so that you don't have to so that you can keep a consistent build with the highest quality parts that fit your preference and not have to worry about it but like just it's wonderful how like high quality they are aesthetically but the fact that you don't have to trim them at all and they just fit perfectly is insane. And the fact that he's doing that at currently the lowest price on the market is just gravy. So that is my review. I will be using these 
probably for the near future just indefinitely because they are so nice and the customer service has been above none and he supports me on Patreon. So like, why wouldn't I support a company that already supports me? But thank you guys very much for watching. I will be using a lot of these parts in the future just because they seem so incredibly nice and they save you painting parts that otherwise shouldn't be painted. I could go on and on and on, but instead I'm just going to say much love, nerf on, drag out.